Hello and hey to mess around with golf with your friends, this time the updated 2022 Candyland Classic Guide. I'll save anything I have to say till after the final hole, so let's see some shots. Hole number one. Go ahead and full power right in the middle of this licorice stick, the left side of our cursor touching the ice cream sandwich wall. I love this game. And we're going to hold jump as soon as we let go. That way we pop out of the water the first instance we can for the easy hole in one. Hole two, we're going to take advantage of this little yellow stripe on the right side of the orange bit. We're going to put our right side of the cursor at full power right up on it. It's a fairly specific shot to get the hole in one, but it will happen every single time. And once you get it down, you probably will not forget it. Hole three, uh, kind of don't have a hole in one anymore, which is kind of sad, but I like to go three power. Right when that cookie's about to enter the side there. And from this point, we'll need to go just over two power, two and a fifth maybe, right as the uh, cookie is about to reach the hill. I kind of knock off the top there. Every first shot will create a, a different second shot, so you'll just have to play around a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't have the perfect setup for hole three. Hole four. Fairly tricky, surprisingly, to go just under 3.5 power. Just under 3.5 power. Having the left side of our cursor kind of touch the orange side, or aim at the orange side there. This, again, is specific, but if you get anywhere near that and stay in the course, you will end up very near the hole for an easy two. I know it's a lot of words, but it is more specific than it looks. Hole five, very simplistic. One tile to the right, up the hill. Full power, let her fly. Hole six, I like to aim at a dark square, which I believe is about nine tiles down. We're going to get not as close as we can to that circular log, but pretty close to it. And again, if you mess it up, you will not have a terrible second shot. So just play with it a little bit. You'll be just fine. Hole seven, I'm going to show you a backup first, an easy, easy two. We'll go ahead and slam our camera down to the ground and just kind of cover up the ice cream sandwich wall here on the right with the right side of our cursor, I should say. Full power, let it rip. And it'll just easily coast for a simple two. But of course, I will show you the hole in one. It is super specific so don't do not be discouraged also don't go for it because if you miss it in any circumstance it will pretty much leave the course entirely just wanted to make sure people saw it's possible but don't don't do it don't go for it not worth it hole eight i've never seen a hole in one on this hole so that's unfortunate and even there's a bit that you can fall through so that's terrible but if we go two tiles to the right five forward and unleash a full power shot we'll have a very simple two here going about one power for the follow-up shot anywhere around this just go straight at the flag knock it in hole nine another hole that we are going to show you a backup first you can pretty much go anything over here. Two powers what I kind of like to do. Just straight ahead. A little bit less is also fine. And basically, no matter where you end up down here, full power shot about two tiles up the left wall. And it'll go knock around here and be perfectly fine in the bolt. But we want to show you the hole in one, so I'll cut it out there. And this is what I like to call a magic pixel shot. Because if you don't have it exactly right here with exactly this power, it will not go in. You'd say, oh, it's pixel perfect. No, but like the ones around it give you nothing like that particular shot. So obviously by my stroke count, uh, I did struggle a touch more than I normally do, but that is hard. Do not do it. Just wanted to show it. In hole 10, again, a picture of simplicity. One tile up, two tiles to the left. Put the right side of our cursor on it. Full power. Just want to get in this chocolate stream to get down into the hole. Again, I, get, I love the sentences I get to say in this particular course.
Hole 11, I like to put the aim point at the end of that ice cream sandwich at about three and two thirds power. Three quarters, maybe. It's not ultra specific, but obviously you can miss. You get too far outside the range I described. And very simply, hole in one. Hole 12, I wanted to like do two full power shots, but it kind of with the treadmill has given me a reason to just say, you know what, I'll just do what I, al what I always do. So we'll go ahead and go two power. Uh, two tiles forward, one tile to the right. It's not ultra specific, but to show you, you always need a slight modification on any shot you do yourself. And then from here, I like to go on that light tile you see, just over three power. The important part there is the just over three power so that we hit into the bull and then kind of rock around a little bit. That one is one of the more tricky skill-based ones and there's just not an easy fix for that. And again, a picture of simplicity. We're gonna go straight forward, three and like an eighth power. Let's go right at the hole. It's not super specific. It's pretty easy to just dunk it. Leave it at that. Hole 14. The point of placement is much more important than the power here. I like to kind of dial it in, but we are needing to go under 3 power, like definitively under 3 power. And just kind of right as close as we can to that circular log. I accidentally pulled a little bit of power off that, but either of those shots would have worked. Just that exact line is necessary, and if you miss it a little bit more to the left, you still end up down there, so it's not like you're totally lost if you happen to miss the shot. Hole 15, want to aim the left side of our cursor up against the uh, bottom line here. You'll know you got it if you touch the bottom side right there. It'll plop off always and get down in the same bowl with a very slow rate of speed. Hole in one. Hole 16, uh, another two, we're gonna go for the far licorice stick, the left side, we're gonna aim directly at that left edge, full power. And when we come to rest, we're gonna go just left of the flag stick with the right side kind of aimed directly at the flag stick at just over two power, has to be over two power or else you won't quite make the landing. And it's pretty simple and very reliable with the full power setup. Hole 17, I like to go full power again, having the right side of my cursor kind of, again, on the left side of the licorice. Since it'll always put us right here, you're able to look at the left of the flag. Again, I like to go actually further left with the right side of the cursor, but you want to go, again, just over two power or else you might get stuffed by the actual course piece. It tends to hop if you go just over two power and right in the hole. And lastly, hole 18, it's just kind of a long hole. It's the only three on the course. I like to go three and a half power aiming directly onto the center line. There's, we are sort of offset. That's why I like to kind of go left because it kicks us back to the right and into the middle shoot, which is the, the best shoot for us. For anybody really, but for us, you know, why not? as we slowly trickle down here, it's technically possible if you wanted to go full power and bounce off a ball to end up in the hole, but playing it safe, we'll go ahead and get that two power shot to get us right before the balls. My thought process on this is we'll go as fast as possible to stay out of the balls of range at all times. I don't have a particular timing to shoot. Uh, there will be some of you that get very unlucky and get hit by the, the orbs, every, you know, five times in a row, but sorry, we're gonna have to live with that. Anyway, Tons of hole-in-ones, tons of easy shots, tons of tricky shots. It's a very fun course, always have been one of my favorites. So I don't have too much to say about this. Just hope that there's an update soon. Hope this was helpful for anybody who had been struggling with any changes that have come since the 2020 release of the game. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.